Hey, Brad Kazmarski back. Today we're going to talk about push-up quick fix. In the push-up progression in the weight room, we see a lot of times the lower back will sink in. So if someone's doing a push-up, they'll sink in the lower back. We'll try to correct that, but we realize both from strength and conditioning perspective and more so from the functional movement systems perspective, you can't really fix or correct a position if it's a core activation issue. You want to use the core activation techniques to be able to make them more stable in that position. So one of the quick fixes I've found with the push-up over multiple years, a decade now of, of playing with the push-up at the high school level and beyond, is that when we sink in the lower back, here's a quick fix. I'm gonna show you a video both without it and then with it and then talk about it. Keep going. All right, good. So in that video, you can see we just use the foam roller to correct it. By putting the foam roller in to get a little core activation is the old SFMA term. Now I think they use pattern assistance, but core activation, by putting it in there, activates the core to be more stable. So in the case you just saw in the FMS, it's someone who has more of a stability problem. So by giving them a foam roll, knowing that person, giving them stability, allows them to be express their strength more through a front pillar position and then be able to use their upper body. So if someone is sinking in the sway back, it's more often than not a stability problem. A first correction for a stability problem is not to coach them through it, it's to give them something that makes core activation happen. So the first way to get core activation for us is just a foam roller right there. We're gonna have a much better push up position and we can regress them. So once they've done that for a while, you can do two sets with it, one set without. Then one set with it, two sets without. So I would start with three sets, with the core activation, then as they get better at it, you're gonna find they can fade off one set, then two sets and you'll be down to three sets without it. If they're a stability-based person, where their issue is always stability, you can anytime they kind of struggle, you can come back by giving them the foam roller and let them be more stable, knowing that that's their default problem is stability, but you can progress them from three sets with it to two sets with it, one set without, to one set with it, two sets without, and eventually no sets at all, with core activation, just regular good solid push-ups. So that is the number one way that I take a sway back push-up position using the functional movement systems in the weight room and be able to get core activation and put them right back into a good training pattern, both in a group setting, we don't wanna spend a bunch of time having to break that out and look at it. And in an individual setting, you don't wanna to have to do a bunch of regressions if it's not necessary. If it's just a core activation issue, just give them that foam roller, let them go right to it. They'll be more stable. They'll feel it more. They'll express to you, wow, that I felt that a lot different. And you'll know you're in the right place if their push-up looks better and they're more stable in the center. So if you see any sway back push-ups, give that a try. And I think you're going to notice a huge difference right away if there's a stability problem.